Good morning in Pursuit Youth Group. This is Randy. I'm out here enjoying the sunshine this morning and the beautiful blue sky and it's just a beautiful day. It's funny, I, I was reading uh, the word this morning in 2 Peter chapter 3 and, and a funny question came up this morning that that Peter Peter was telling, uh, telling me in, in chapter 3 how uh, everything is going to be burned up at this this earth all the heavens is going to be burned up and destroyed and then and then and then he asks what sort of people ought you should be based on that information let me read for you second peter uh, chapter 3 verses 10 and 11 he says but the day of the lord will come like a thief in which the heavens will pass away with a roar and the elements will be destroyed with intense heat and the earth and its works will be burned up since all these things are to be destroyed in this way, what sort of people ought you to be in holy conduct and godliness? I'm like, wow, all this is going to be burned up. The trees, the, the church, the earth, the heavens, all is it going to be destroyed. What in the world, why does it matter what type of person I'm going to be? I mean, that seems like a funny question to me. What, what does it matter if everything is going to get burned up? Well, I think verse 7 has, has an answer for us. Look at verse 7. But the present heavens and earth by his word are being reserved for fire, kept for the day of judgment and destruction of ungodly men. The destruction of ungodly men. The reason I want to have holy conduct and godliness is because those who do not are going to be judged accordingly. Those who don't are not holy, those who um, don't have uh, are not blameless are going to be judged accordingly. Not only that, but look at what verse 13 has to say for those who are holy and those who are blameless, what they get to look forward to. Look at verse 13. But according to his promise, we are looking for new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. Christians are looking forward to the new heavens and the new earth. Yeah, these, this is all going to get burned up and destroyed. But Christians are looking for a new heaven and a new earth. God's going to make all things new so what should that lead us to do well look at verse 12 second peter chapter 3 verse 12 says looking for and hastening the coming day of the of god on account of which the heavens will be destroyed by burning and the elements will melt with intense heat the word hastening stuck out to me this morning i looked at what that meant and it says to await with eager desire with eager desire those who hasten the coming of the day of God are waiting for him with eager desire, which leads to a holy and blameless life. God wants us to, to look for his coming and to await with eager desire. Are you today, could you honestly say, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm eagerly desiring, I'm waiting for God to come back. Well, that's what he wants us to do. Hasten the coming day of God. Await eagerly him coming back for you, which will lead to a holy and blameless life. I love you guys. Have a great day. I'm praying for you today. I'll talk to you soon.